guys, welcome back to another Wonderswan game history. This time we're playing Digimon Adventure An Anode Tamer. It was released on March 4th, 1999. It's a launch title for the Wonderswan. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps my channel and shows me you like what I'm doing. This will be one of the games I'm going to try my best to just show you some of the gameplay because, as I say in a lot of my videos, the language barrier might keep me from being able to do anything. So, we'll check this out. Alright, that's just the name. So let's go that. At least we get to see like the beginning and stuff. Nice. I see I don't I know nothing about Digimon practically, so I wouldn't understand anyway. I just like I think the Winter Swan has some really nice uh, graphical like look to it though. It really does. Oh, his morphers going off. Oh no, he's unconscious. And now you're in the Digimon world, uh, so. I like these little uh, drawn cutscenes. Falling in the canyon. We're in a hole now. You know, this would have been a cool one to uh, translate. Whoa. Okay, so it's a grid based body system. That's pretty cool. Kind of like shiny course. And he's fighting Pinsir. Well, it looks like Pinsir. That's its wings, but when it does that, it looks like Pinsir. It's like Pinsir and Scyther mixed together. Here's some type of like fish or This, this is all controlled. I'm not controlling any of this. This is like auto. Hey, I'm just a little confused on it. Oh, he, he killed one of them. So he's going to kill this one now. It has zero hit points. I get it. That's the countdown for its hit points. So it freed him. 
kept him alive, you know, so he wouldn't be hurt. And these are like big bad guys. That, that thing looks like a the thing looks like a Lego block. This is our esteemed trainer, I bet, that will tell us about it. That thing is kind of cool looking with the thing over top of it. really like the somewhat the artist of this game put a lot of effort into these little uh, pictures for the cutscene. Okay, so now I'm in control. What's this video like? These guys just talk to me. Stay where I'm at. Yeah, he can't reach me yet. I knew he couldn't, that's why I've done that. Now I can like, do this. Like, move him here. He'll attack that guy. Side of him. You're gonna attack that guy too. I'm trying to just get you close enough that you can attack. Attack back. Why it doesn't. Which 
don't you attack? This one? Because I probably can move the other one right over to it. Yeah, get this one, because he's like... How do you keep your health of your guys, like... I hate that they can attack back though, that makes this like really difficult. Cause it, it just ends up being a game of like who will last longer. So it ends up becoming And that one is really weak, so you have the last one on my side. That's almost dead. Well, he's almost had it. Of course, that one's my guy's gonna die too. This is just weird the way it works. It's the fact that you get hit. It's just odd, because you get hit. They can attack after you attack, and it, it just... I'm going to get slaughtered here for that reason. There goes that guy. Oh my, not quite, but close. Uh, attack this guy because we'll probably kill him this time. Alright, let's well, you're gonna die dude no matter what. So at least when we be here attack this guy. Up by the him. Yeah, I'm done. Like, I did not beat these guys at all. Well, that's something right there. that one. It's 
that the end of that one too? And a loss. Shorts. Something opened up when I done that. Okay, what's that? Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for me, guys, because I pretty much showed the game off. I showed the combat in it and how it works. Um, I like the combat system. The only thing I don't like about it is how I would prefer when I attack, or even when they attack me, I don't like the, the like, everybody strikes at the same time, because I feel like when you're doing a strategy game like that, like, you know how, like, this works, or Shining Force, or something like that, I feel like when you have them attack back, like, every time, it kind of defeats the purpose of strategizing where everybody targets one guy, because you target one guy so you can wear him down and he can only attack one of you. That's why you, you circle them and attack them and stuff. And when you have him attack, it's like that's every time you attack, he gets to attack you too. So it's like there's no advantage to that because he's dishing out damage at the same time. Um, but, yeah, this was fun. I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to get further in it because I don't understand the language and what I'm doing. But if this was translated, I would definitely play through it or, you know, play it uh, at least at a good distance because it's a, it's a fun game. But that will be it for me, and until next time, keep up the positivity.